It's time for the weekly No Pain, No Gain Market Update with a team at Payne Capital Management here in New York City. Good morning. This is Bob Payne, Chief Investment Strategist here at Payne Capital Management. And this week on the Street of Dreams, the major market indices continue to hover near all-time record highs as companies report their second quarter earnings. Now, with one-third of all companies in the S&P 500 having reported, 75% of them have posted a better-than-forecast profit. Market was also supported by good economic news as U.S. durable good orders rose in June, coming in better than expected after two straight months of declines. Now, they were propelled by demand for commercial aircraft, cars, and auto parts. Meanwhile, the ECB, the European Central Bank, announced its decision to keep its benchmark interest rate unchanged at 0%. This comes after ECB President Mario Draghi said last month that the central bank was prepared to announce further stimulus measures, even though he told reporters that the risk of recession in the region was low. Now, you have to wonder, with their benchmark interest rate at zero, how much lower can they go? Well, they can always go negative, as evidenced by the yield on the German 10-year Bund falling to a negative four-tenths of one percent this week, joining the universe of negative yielding bonds that now stands at $13 trillion. That's trillion, folks, with a T. I just can't imagine who would lend their hard-earned money to any institution when they charge you almost a half of 1% a year for the privilege. Who does that? Well, I guess the owner of those $13 trillion of negative yielding bonds. Now, when you compare the negative yield on the 10-year German bond to the yield of 2% on our 10-year treasury, 2% starts to look downright generous. So this sets the stage for next week when the U.S. Federal Open Market Committee meets and delivers its monetary policy decision on the 31st. The markets have priced in a 100% possibility of at least a 25 basis point cut to its key borrowing rate. But of course, there are no certainties when it comes to the financial markets. And the Fed may very well cut, or they may not, or they may cut more than expected. And each action will have a positive or negative short-term impact on the markets. Now, trying to time these short-term moves is impossible and usually ends in tears. So stay invested. Stay the course and tune in on the 31st. Now, if you're sitting there wondering, do I have a portfolio that can weather a decision from the Federal Reserve, whatever they decide? Well, why sit there and wonder when you can know? Give us a call or simply text 844-752-6692. That's 844-752-6692.